Hi everyone, I'm Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas. Today I'm going to show you how I make these super cute farmhouse style window curtains that would work in just about anybody's decor on the cheap. And let me tell you, this is a super easy DIY. So you want to pick up a couple of the cheapest flat sheets you can find. Uh, if you hang your curtains at window height, you will want to get twin size. That's give you a 96 inch, which will dust the floor perfectly. If you hang them at ceiling height, you will want a full size. If your window is not, you know, super wide. If you have a super wide window, you will want to get a queen size. And then, and what happens with the queen size is you will get puddling on the floor. Now you can hem them if you'd like, or you can just leave the puddling, which I think is super cute. You just need these very basic supplies and you are set. Now I've seen these made several different ways, but I'm going to show you the way that I've been doing it since college. It has worked for me. It's super simple and you can do it while watching your favorite episode on TV. You'll want to find the top of your sheet here and flip it over to the back and rip out the seam right here and then a little bit in ways on that one seam here. So I'm just going to rip this out and we'll move right along. Now that we have it completely opened up, you will want to go ahead and fold those raw edges over twice so they're towards the inside of the sheet and match up the seams and give it a good pinning so they stay put. So it should look like this when you're all done. You have that nice open edge there. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to sew, hand sew all the way up and around. You can sew this on your machine. It would probably be quicker, but I just wanted to sit on the couch and do this while I was watching a TV show. Um, and as you can see here, I am not a very good hand sewer. It doesn't matter. Nobody is going to see it. I just did a simple running stitch all the way around and it was super easy. It took me um, one 30 minute TV show to do both panels and this is the way it turned out. A little trick that I like to do it to keep my panels from spreading at the top is take a large pin and scrunch it up in the back and pin it just through the back fabric to keep it nice and, um, you know, drapey and flowy. And that is it, you guys. It's a super easy DIY, inexpensive, and you get great curtains out of it. And they let a lot of light in if you don't like the room darkening, which I don't. I love the sunlight. That's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.